Hello and welcome back, I'll be Gorus here with more Super Mario 3D Land for Nintendo 3DS. In last episode, we started with World 7. And in this episode, we shall hopefully finish World 7. Oh, I think I know this level. I don't think I like this level very much. If it's the level I'm thinking of. Although the music is nice. Because it's the Super Mario... Yep, it's this level. It's uh, difficult, it's a clock level, so... Uh, and a Mario game, so what did you expect really? But uh, near the end, this level gets hard. And I can't believe I almost uh, died there. Or rather, I should say, I can't believe I almost survived that. Or, well, I don't even know. I can't believe I almost died. No, that's not right either. Oh, well, I don't know what I'm going at. Stupid Mountain Mole, thinking he's so great. Turns out he is great, but he doesn't need to know that. Actually, I think there's something hidden here. Can I get it by doing this? Seriously, it looks like I can get up there. But I guess I can't then. Yeah, I think it's too small, that's why. Oh, that could have ended badly too. Wonderful. But yes, we are indeed inside a clock. That's the gimmick of this level. You are inside a giant clock. And that's about it, really. Oh yeah, I think you just get an extra life from doing this, and then you get back down there. It's uh, essentially nothing fancy. You're inside a giant clock. And you regulate time. Also, you kinda need a mountain mole to get that star coin the easiest way possible. Or, you know, not at all. Oh yeah, this section. I think I died here because I jumped a bit too late. I think I did that when I played this game the first time as well. Well, Mario might have collected 120 star, but that not is, that's not as impressive as collecting 120 lives. Except that, you know, Yoshi has handed them out like uh, sand. This part is very annoying of the game. And I don't like it one bit. Um, you know, level I mean, not the game itself. Because Tanuki bombs, that's why. And if I remember correctly, it gets tougher. Okay, maybe not. Uh, maybe it wasn't so bad after all. There we go. A flagpole of victory. VICTORY! 253, not bad. Gonna grant me a lot of coins. Okay, so uh, World 7 5 there. Next. I don't need a break. It's a uh, sort of climbing level, I think. Oh no, it's a bus saw level. I knew there was a bus saw level. It was in. Uh, there was one in Super Mario. Super Mario. Ga Mario Galaxy 2, I think, or maybe more, it was Mario Galaxy, and of course there's gonna be one in uh, Super Mario 3 Land then. Not that that matters, because I do enjoy this level quite a bit. You can also cheat your way here, by the way. Doesn't activate the uh, bus sauce. Now you can even jump up here, which is um, not required in any kind of way. So you, you can kind of ignore it. But there we go, got the Tanuki Leaf. Oh yeah, this one, it uh, makes you move through the uh, bus sauce. It's kind of neat. It's also kind of cruel, but uh, it's uh, kind of neat nonetheless. Okay, just a couple of coins. Gotta hurry so we can get the star coin. There we go, great. 
I do enjoy this level actually, it's one of my favorite levels. Mostly because the bus also make you kinda rush a bit. And I think that's... I think that's fun because, you know, I like to go fast. Unless it's Sonic. In Sonic I like to take my time. Which is kinda weird, but... Eh. This section can be a bit uh, difficult though, especially if you're going for a golden star coin. Because the platform is going to get separated. Like this. And then it's gonna fall down. And it's gonna become less and less platforms. Smaller, smaller platforms. It's easy to die. But if you choose the correct one, you can get there just fine. And if you chose the wrong one, you get 10 extra seconds. Also, this is how you want to do it. If you want the flagpole, that is. You can get the flagpole top uh, from the other side as well. It's just a little bit of a trickier jump. But uh, there we go. It's a very short level. Very short and fun level, which is why I like it. I don't know if it's suited for uh, World 7, technically. But, uh, oh well. We have a Bowser Airship level. World 7 dash Airship. Boom goes the dynamite. Okay, we have the first star coin off the bat. Kinda wish this was not a side scroll level. Because, uh, you know, 9. 90% of all the airship levels we have encountered has been side scrollers. In fact, only one has not been. Oh, I think I died a lot on this one actually when I first played the game. I remember dying here anyway. I also remember missing the uh, golden star coin, so that's kind of bad. Do I remember where it is? Nah, not really. Well, there it is apparently. I do believe I missed one anyway. I think that also happened. I remember that happening when I first played this game and this level. I also remember falling down there and dying. So you know, uh, I'm gonna repeat a lot of mistakes. I tend to do that every now and then, you know, repeat mistakes. Like that. But, uh, you know, that's fine, because we can do this to get our boomerang suit back, and we can keep our uh, Tanook leaf. So, you know, it's a safe bet, really. Or a safety net. It's a better word for, me, for it, or term. Safety net. Because, you know, it's not a bet, technically. It's more so a safety net. So there we go. Let's not fall down this time. I avoided my uh, impenetrable doom, and I killed a Mary Koopa alongside the way, so that's uh, for the best. Oh, he, he, he destroyed my sweet boomerang with his awesome magic, but uh, he couldn't take the power of my sweet boomerang, though. Okay, there's a um, war pipe there. Gee, I wonder if I want the war pipe or if I want the star coin that is here. Wow, that's a huge warp star airship engine. Oh, it's Boom Boom and Pam Pam. Well, got one hit in on him. And I lost my boomerang, so it's great. Okay, that's two hits. You can bo avoid Boom Boom just fine up here. So, you know, Boom Boom is very easy in this battle. It's actually the easiest one. There we go. Ba Pam Pam is dead. Wow, I jumped on his shell. Didn't even know that was possible without, you know, dying. Yeah, if you defeat Pam Pam on the other hand, the safety platform will go down. Uh, which it did here, so... Watch out for that, I guess. What do we have here? A uh, bunch of coins. And an extra life, there we go. I think there's always an extra life on that side actually. 
it tends to be hidden a lot of the time, so. 99 coins, a 1 up for a flagpole, and we're about to get another 1 up and a bunch of 30 coins, so we're gonna get 29 coins left. Also, World 7 is now beaten. Beaten and destroyed to the ground. So you know we're at World 8. Pretty close to the end now. And of course, as uh, regular Mario themes, last world is a fire level. So we now have Bowser taunting us with Peach in a cage. But this determines our hero Mario, that he must rescue Princess Peach. So much more. But there we go, we are now at world 8. So I'm gonna end off the episode here, I'm gonna have a shorter episode, as I want to start fresh next episode. So if you enjoyed the episode, um, actually first thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. If you uh, did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a good old thumbs up, share it with your friends, and share your thoughts down in the comment section. And I shall see you in the next episode. Stay frog, everyone.